Hey guys, welcome back to our episode four, Homecoming of the Halo television series. Last week we said it's getting better. Is it continuing to get better or is it getting worse? Let me reenact uh, Master Chief in this episode. <laughs> nah, don't need that. Oh, and there's another part of the episode. Master Cheeks! <laughs> we get more cheeks! More butt! Butt quota has been <laughs> fulfilled. Are we going to get a, a, an ass or a butt in every goddamn episode? Let's yeah. hope so. All right, well, who's the butts next? Sorry. Okay. I want, uh, <laughs> give me one, two, five. Give me a one, two, five. But, or I think we already got a little... We got little a little one, bit. two, five. No, I think it was a bubber butt. We didn't get some no, no cheeks. You were telling me you're going to be master cheeks? Yeah, butt crack. And I ain't getting a one, two, five cheek? Got a butt crack. I did get a butt crack. Oh, my God, guys. Um, Halo. Yeah, it's... um. They called it. Told you. It's... uh. Goddamn Quan. <laughs> Goddamn Quan. I told you. <laughs> it's uh, it a stupid mission. Shouldn't have gone. <laughs> okay. Um... Yeah, still no action. This is just not my Halo. It's not Halo. Uh, a it bit. is there. It's not garbage like goddamn yeah. Star Trek Picard, which we just finished reviewing. That shit is dumps. It's a dumpster fire. Here, they're at least paying paying respect to the characters. If you're a book reader, a lot of this backstory makes sense. It's intriguing. You're seeing it on the big screen for the first time. We're delving into this. The Halo game fans are crying out, where's the action? Where's the covenant? What's going on? Let's hurry up. And honestly, at this point, um, I kind of agree with them. If we're going at this pace, we ain't getting any good shit until season fucking seven. We are literally <laughs> crying. Crawling, no snail's pace, and yet somehow uh, the pacing on it feels so awful. We are cutting back and forth. Do you notice the cuts? We'll do like a minute in it with the Spartans, and then we immediately cut into another scene, and then we go back and forth. And there's not enough time for each of these scenes to really click to flow. The pacing and the editing and the flow, it's not happening. There are so many side plots that are not <laughs> woven in to the uh, overall story well just the way it's directed and edited. Um, regardless of whether you think that the story is working on John's past, on Halsey's uh, questionable ethics, which I think that stuff is working. I like Halsey's questionable ethics that gets into her backstory, and it's heading towards a huge conflict uh, between her, Master Chief, and the Spartans. And, uh, and I like the elaboration of that here. So while it's not the worst episode, it's still not very good. Uh, so what would you guys think of? As I said last episode last episode, I was hoping they wouldn't do the Quan thing, but they did. And this is what <laughs> you were this is against hope. I know, the, the, but this is what we're talking about: the editing. I'm trying to find out more about the artifact and the covenant and stuff like that. That's intriguing. But then you cut back to Quan. And her rebellion and like bullshit. Just as it gets interesting. Yes, and then it's like, all right, John shit or cuts back. It's like it's getting good again. Goes back to Quan. It's like, well, I'm not gonna pay you. (laughs) You gotta do this and this. I'm like, oh, you fucking bitch. (sighs) So just fucking kill her right now. (laughs) End it. Yeah, that's not happening, Joe. Alex, <laughs> I, I don't like it. I think that there's there's some interesting stuff that could be happening, but I mean the stuff that's happening with Master Chief is important. But it would it, in a properly fleshed out Halo show, it would be necessary, but it wouldn't be the highlight of anyone's show. And it's sad that like seriously, the bar is so low that this kind of stuff with Master Chief is the highlight. This is garbage tier sci fi. Like this is as bad as Picard. He dug a hole with a shovel. This is in Star Trek. <laughs> uh, they definitely could have done like this. This is poorly written shit. Um, There's so much worse than what Alex pointed out. Bro. Oh, and it's it is not. This is real. This is real bad stuff. I think the Quan stuff is is beyond. I, I like Rafi in Picard. If you watch both, you should watch your other one. I like Rafi and Picard better than I like Quan. 
Holy shit. Quan is an unlikable shit level wow, character. Yeah, I fucking that hate. entire side I don't thing. Like her yeah, because I don't Quan like is her dragging either. down yes. Soren too. I don't think there's one fucking person that likes Quan who's watching this show. I mean, if you're if you're not familiar with Halo, if you're not familiar with any of that, and you've never seen any story of revenge, then probably yeah. Because everyone's like, all right, let's see Master Chief. I want to see what's going on with this. Some no, backstory. He's like, no. Are you? What are you, an idiot? <laughs> this is not show. called. Ha- this is. Oh, <laughs> I see the problem. Quan. But it's she's Quan. also she's also dragging down Soren because Soren is yes. making stupid decision after yes. stupid. Like I don't I don't buy that a, a super intelligent Spartan would. He's one, wearing his fucking armor everywhere. It's like that's a motherfucking Spartan. It, uh, it, you cannot walk the streets hiding yourself when you have zero six six yeah. fucking Spartan on you. She's that young, dumb, reckless, doing stupid shit to get everyone in trouble. Yeah, she and, does it again. Super cliche. Yeah, it's and then the, I think that the person like Soren is supposed I to be there her. to guide and say, "No, absolutely not. I'm the adult. You're technically like my. Prote- I'm protecting you. I'm not letting you do this. You are not in charge of me." And at the and- end of the episode, it is revealed that she's written this way on purpose. Great, because humans are so messy, chaotic, and make decisions based on emotion. The camera pans in on Quan, zooms in on Quan. I'm like, yes, she's messy, she's chaotic, and she makes decisions based on emotion. And I fucking hate her. Yeah. And the show is like, we we want you to like her though, because no. that's humanity. And I'm like, no, I fucking it's hate her. Th- this show has forgotten that humanity is potentially on the brink of destruction because we are at war with someone who is so advanced technologically that one, there is no and fucking Quan war. Quan is over here. I'm a rebellion. It's like these aliens are going to wipe. You. They're going to sterilize you from space. They're going <laughs> to seriously just go w- glass. But no, man wearing black coat is super bad. I got to take him back. I He's making ride. the money. I got to have more hundreds of thousands must die in order to take it back. Can we deal with this later? Maybe we can uh, stop the covenant from wiping out the human race well, first? So, and then no one has just sat down and explained it's like, look, that, that guy's evil. He's taken over. He's a fucking fascist, but he is allied with the good guys who are the only people that can defend you yeah. from the aliens that want to sterilize you from space. And you saw what the fuck they did. Here's the problem is I think uh, you were right uh, previously. The covenant are the good guys in this show, and they are not wiping out humanity. Maybe in the silver timeline the covenant, I don't give a fuck about about humans, we're not attacking them. They're killing Why themselves. Why are they attacking us? <laughs> I, we're looking for we're looking for stuff on planets. We have every right to the planet that you do. And then all of a sudden, these Spartans show up and start killing us. Fuck you! <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> We're not attacking humans. Is that we what's going on here? The covenant. Because that's what the humans are behaving like. I would love They that. don't even research the fucking language of the alien race that is attacking them. They come up with this idea. Oh, I never fucking thought of that. Are you fucking stupid? You. They're... All right. Anyways, uh, this makes no... I, I What? <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, so th- this show has multiple storylines. Uh, okay, I don't so like almost any of them right now. Let's talk about the storylines. You've got John and his past. And for me, that is an interesting book yes. path. Keep Halsey, it there. John, keep it there. It's it's discovery, and it's like, yes, j- get to the fucking mm-hmm. halo. I know where this is going. We're doing it to get to the halo. And it's tolerable. The Quan stuff is wretched. It is negative. It is bringing everything down. The Spartan stuff. I love the Spartan stuff. I love Silver Team. Uh, you know, uh, one two five and and the other guy, which is goddamn it, I forget his designation all the fucking time. Anyways, I felt bad for him and his pig. He yeah, his pig. It's this is fucking uh, uh, you know cool, and they're even you know. Trying to uh, make you like Keys, Miranda Keys, because she is now connecting with the Spartans because she's like, you know, the Spartan is in a way. She chipped through her. Yeah, so that's why 125 was oogling Master Chief's booty cheeks, not because she wanted a piece of his ass, Alex, but because she was going to pop out her own pellet and start to feel the things. She's a rebel now. She's a rebel. She painted her hair with fucking sniper gun oil, which is kind of cool. And I like it. And it's like, okay, so she's experiencing. 
there's a little bit of a rebellion side, and she connects with Miranda Keys, and they're both kind of daughters of Halsey, and it makes kind of sense. And then, and and the voiceover is like, well, there's one thing that Halsey has a problem with, and it's glitches. She so can't tolerate them. And essentially, one, two, five's a glitch. Miranda Keys is a glitch because she acts like a human, and Halsey can't control her like she can no, control the Spartans. This is all compelling drama, or can be compelling drama in the right hands of some good writers, and I think they're handling it ha half right. Uh, and uh, and so that's what's compelling. It's just con the constant cuts take you out of the individual. Even if you're, let's say you're a dumbass and you're invested in the goddamn Quan story, <laughs> you can't even get invested in the Quan story because they immediately cut away to something else. That's the that's literally the pacing and the editing in this is juggling all those different storylines and not giving enough screen time to each one to get you accustomed to it and to get some good good development there. So that's just a uh, editor's and director's choice. So, um... <sighs> Yeah, let's go into the specifics. Mm -hmm. uh, so John wants to go home. Haley tells him he's special. John is, is super special. Uh, the Cortana voice, oh, this works so well because it is literally Cortana. When she's just talking and she's not even on screen and it's, and it's loud, I'm like, damn, I'm playing the game. This is fucking awesome, right? We start our search for the second artifact. Chief? Looks different. What exactly? Until she shows up in person and then she looks nothing like Cortana and you're like, what, what was going on? And you have that uncanny, uncanny valley with her lips. Somehow the animation, it's, it's just wrong. I don't, I don't like it, but uh, that's just my personal I'm opinion. I'm willing to give it a pass. I'm like, yeah, yeah whatever. It's yeah, a I give fucking, it a pass it's too, a TV but it's show. It's not my sure. preference for what the exactly. look is. Uh, that's the least of my concerns with this show. <laughs> yeah, Ar Aradanis 2, uh, you know, he goes over there, and like Alex was saying, um, he uses his show. He, he, he looks... He does some line sighting in my dream. I saw it. It's in this direction. Like, but they don't like, whatever. He, he has a shovel. Up. Who get, yeah, he got a fucking shovel. Who cares? Uh, you know, so then he digs it up and uh, it is drawings on the stupidest paper. So then here's my nitpick with the paper. Did you know the future paper? Joe, they all have fucking chips on the side. What are those for? They're just taking they, up they, space on the paper. They upload them to the cloud so you can see them later. Yeah, all right. I don't know. Anyway, so he's, and we see the ring. Joe, he fucking drew the ring. That was a butthole, though, for the cheeks. Oh, that's right. Yeah, <laughs> that's that's uh, hinting at the next episode. Naked asshole is what we're getting. <laughs> Naked next. asshole. Yeah. Um. So anyway, Soren uh, is revealed that he killed his father at a young age. Must have been super young. Killed his dad. I don't know what's going on there because he had to go on the Spartan program at some point. Unless he escaped the Spartan program and killed his dad? No, that time that timing doesn't work. So he had to be like, I don't know. Teenage or something? S seven? No, because Soren does look like he's older than some of the other kids. But all right, he has a past, um, and he's trying to, you know, get past that. 125 takes out her pellet. Um, and then Master Chief basically puts his helmet on, and then literally seconds later takes his helmet off. It's so fucking annoying. Like, why even bother putting the helmet on in the first There's place? There's a scene where you see his face inside the helmet, and it's like, this is to specifically dagger Halo fans. I, again, feel the opposite of you here. I actually liked that scene. Seeing on the inside of the helmet, I'm like, oh, that's cool. That's what it would look like. I wish this is how they would show him... If they want to show the actor emoting from time to time, keep his fucking helmet on. Now that you've shown me that you can do this and we can see him in the helmet with the LCD screen and all that, or wh whatever technology it is at that point, um, I like that part. But why put it? Why even bother putting it on? Five seconds later, he takes it off. It's just annoying. <laughs> um, anyways, he gets to his house. He lines up, digs for the second artifact, and it cut. I and mean, here's where I wrote: it just cuts back and forth. They're too quick. I timed one of them like at a minute 27 seconds. It doesn't flow for either story. You're going back and forth too much. Vishner. Here we go. What, what the fuck? What is Vishner doing in this? He has to be the evil He's guy. He's walking the streets. Oh, we must get Quan. <laughs> <laughs> hey, how you doing? Oh, that's some nice melons. Uh, how you doing today? What the fuck are we doing? Uh, you know, you got to treat the people right if you're going to rule them. <laughs> I'm in charge now and... All right, let's roll. Everybody get in this poorly <laughs> disguised... Suburban. Suburban. <laughs> okay. It's the future. <laughs> mm-hmm. And that is literally <laughs> looking all weird. But she's got a hood on, Joe, so you can't, you don't know. So then, um, you know, it's just like a completely different show. It is. It's, it's so weird. 
Um, and then they say she's trying to get money for Soren and get the resistance back together. And the guy that she talks to is selling uh, a fucking tactical helmet with a flashlight. He's like half off. And he's, oh, you. And he's like, oh, okay, well, meet me at the memorial for your father tonight. You So, uh, excuse me? So I managed to pick the exact day when my father's memorial was going to be tonight. Correct. Wow, she's pretty. She's got clairvoyance there. Uh, no, Just shit so happy riding they is made poor it on riding. Time. It's, <laughs> it's contrived. Um, so they go to the memorial, and um, what happens at the memorial? She finds so- out that literally every general. Every single one but one is murdered. Yeah. So there is no resistance anymore, and this should immediately end this side plot where she goes, holy shit, the resistance uh, is dead because everyone in the resistance, all the generals and are dead. Like, thank God. Thank you, Vishner. Yeah. <laughs> but no, we, we get to go on because what Vishner paid the lead general probably a whole bunch of money to like stand down, and again, this should have ended this whole sequence, but we got to get his naked scene. Got to get his naked ass yeah. up in there. He's in a bath, and he's just... Enjoying the spoils of war, and this Smoke. chick comes in. And he's like, "Hey, need you to do something for me, uh, for for foreskin, uh, whatever her name is, Franco." Uh, Franco. Uh, <laughs> Completely different. Fixes. Franco. Hey man, with the way the series is going, that's coming next. Next, mm-hmm. uh, fix this for me, Franco. I need to clean my ledger. And he so he hires an assassin to kind of take care of, uh, you know, she's Quan. just a girl. But why? Because there's She's a just Spartan a girl. with him. But, but, but why? So the, the, uh, my, my point to this whole thing is if this guy is truly a you know totalitarian fascist dickhead, he's like, I've killed everyone in the resistance. The head resistance maybe. lady is in my pocket. What do I give a shit about the dead general's well, maybe daughter? Maybe we, we uh, just don't know how clever 4D chess this is. He actually does know <laughs> about the Spartans. He does know, like his spies are perfect and they told him everything that they did and she is trying to start the resistance up again. She knows that she's trying to start Every the resistance. Every resistance has So he needs spark. to fucking kill her no she's so a spark you're giving the show too much credit plug. because that is what happens but whatever anyways a memo- um <laughs> so one two five colors her hair with the gun oil and we cut to uh, immediately after that cut to the artifact with miranda she wants them to touch the artifact to see if they are also special uh-uh not special god they look so cool in their fucking armor with their helmets on and talking and he's the master chief like why is he so special he's the master chief <laughs> <laughs> That's all you need I to know. I fucking love that yeah. guy. That's my bro right there, man. I want him to be my friend. Uh, it's like you want a guy like that backing you up, you know, because that team, I, we never get to see them except for two minutes in episode one do their thing. It's like, come on, let's let's do something with this the, this much better uh, plot line and team. Anyway, there's major pacing issues. So they f- um, find the drawings, and uh, <clears throat> they're uh, – uh, no, I'm sorry. Uh, Miranda sees the Spartans as machines. She's like, you don't like us very much, right? And it turns out that she's more resenting them because her mother treated them better than they treated her, and she's kind of estranged from her mother. Um, but, yeah, so none of them trigger the device, so it's not the Spartans can do it theory. Mm-hmm. And some people thought that, oh, the Chosen One is actually a secret Spartan, or she got captured while she was, I don't know, some dumb theories. I was like, nope, not a, th- not a Spartan theory. She's a girl, a little girl uh, trash kissing a uh, slave who got <laughs> captured by, and she hates humanity for that, and she's special for some reason. I still think she's either Master Chief's sister, or yeah, so there, she's not a Spartan, so that's gone. So the sister, twins. or uh, <laughs> just there are a few special people that maybe when they were younger, they touched the devices. So if you, if you find and touch a device, that's why you're special. So maybe she touched something and when she was younger that we didn't see in the trash, but it was there somewhere. Um, I don't know. Your theories are as good as mine <coughs> on that, but we get Master Chief in his house. This is a cool scene here. Reminded me again of RoboCop. Really, you know, that when RoboCop goes to his original, you get these flashbacks of, you know, a happy family and stuff. So this is exactly that. And The new um, RoboCop? Or me? Don't ever fucking bring that up, Joe. There is no new RoboCop. I fucking love RoboCop, and that never happened. Uh, so he has to begrudge, and he has to begrudgingly put his helmet on just to see the room configuration. And Cortana helps him, but there's with that cool helmet shot. Um, and Halsey's looking worried this whole time. Because yeah, because she was there. Yeah, She's his memories kick in. And she was a piece of shit. She's like manipulating a fucking child uh, <coughs> to take her, uh, take this child away from their parents. And he's like, I saw you there. And 
you know, this is, I'm start. I'm looking at you all mean. And she's like, well, I wasn't that member. Your parents died. And it I definitely was, was not afterwards. me that gave the whole planet your, the plague. Your memory, was... your memories are mixed. <laughs> You're mixing your memories. Take and they're looking back. at him like he's going to do something. And I'm like, please, man, would you do something? But no, he doesn't put two and two together yet. Uh, he just has a hunch that something's not quite right. And we're going to get that payoff later, I'm sure. Um, yeah. So, anyways, uh, then we get a great scene, one of the better scenes, where the Spartans are fucking playing around with the Covenant tech. I just loved it. They're like, oh, man, the fucking Covenant has the best tech. This is The how needler is this it's, big. It's fucking, I don't know what that was all about. It was huge. Uh, it, but um, it, yeah, I really like the fact, they mentioned the grunts. They're like, have you ever heard a grunt beg for his life? Mm -hmm. and, and it's so funny. It's kind of funny, they said. It better not just be an Easter egg. Like, that's the only time they talk about grunts, and we never see them, and they never actually I beg for their not. life in the series. Them. No, I don't want them begging for their lives. Just I want the covenant to win. Exactly. At this point, yeah. So, well, not not if Silver Team's in charge, because I like Silver Team. I want to see them kick ass. Um, but anyways, uh, Keys, Keys is now interested in the Covenant language. It's just she didn't fucking think of that before, as if people aren't already researching that language. The Spartans have killed so many goddamn uh, Covenant that they hear them speak their language at certain times, and they are... Like, they are fucking photogenic memory, and they hear auditorial memory. But their the helmets are recording at all times, right? That's true, too. So they, they can put together... No, so, all so the UNSC would have the recordings at all times, oh, and none yeah, of this makes yeah, any yeah, fucking yeah, sense. Yeah. So the whole thing, like, oh, no, because yeah. <laughs> she they purposely separated them. It's like, no, they would have all these language files already. Yeah. Stop and defending this trash show. somebody working on it. But no, they have to give it to the Spartan, give these characters agency, give them yeah. the, the, their intelligence, and it's like, oh, so this means Keystone. I'm like... Damn, 125, how the yeah. fuck you know that? All right. Um, so then they realize uh, all that stuff, and we cut away to Soren wants to leave. <laughs> yes! Please, just listen to Soren. But she convinces his ass to stay. <sighs> what does it get him? This is like fucking torture, man. This is torture. See, he loses his ship. He fucking, his ship is scrapped. He's got a fucking drive He's got a shitty six-shooter that makes no fucking sense to have in... Whatever year this is, <laughs> he, I, he's I a like he's a spark. Shooter. He, I, like, I love it. I love I, his, I love revolvers, but it's fucking yeah, stupid. And he I misses. Like the he's like the, he's a Spartan, and then this assassin. He's miss. he's like he he's shoots her in the arm. Oh, that's was he right. trying to shoot at the assassin in the arm? Right. Probably not. They're he's only a, about this far away. Yeah, but his arm. He's is out fucked of practice, up, right? man. He's out of practice because his arm is fucked up. <laughs> he was using the other no. arm. I don't know, man. So yeah, she talks with her aunt. And tries to get the money. The aunt says, look, I'm about to ruin this show even more. Uh, because I don't want to tell... I didn't want to tell you this before, but we have a whole other plot line Bro. with your father, uh, who is apparently... I was like, you are the chosen one. I heard that. One. I was like, no. Uh, please don't no. do this. And uh, there's a secret desert cult. What is this? Dune? What are we doing here? And they're assassins, and he was training, and we didn't know what he was doing. It was to protect this. He went I, there, I, and then I, they I don't told know him what something. They're but, doing. He, but he told no... It was really important, but he told not a single fucking person Except about it. Except for his wife. And I don't know what they're doing here, but I, I hate it and then she, uh, uh, this assassin comes, kills all of her men. She has no money, bursts in, kills the fucking aunt right in front of her. She's screaming. Luckily, Soren comes in and saves her. Luckily, what he should have fucking killed her. Oh, yeah. Oh, I just meant that for the writers. Oh, okay. I was just like, no, 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 they're not lucky about Damn. that. I was like, end it. And oh, it. No, no, it didn't happen. All right, so yeah, and um, you know, uh, at that point, like, yeah. why is Soren staying there? Well, he has no ship now, so they they need to figure this out. They got out no together. money. He got and nothing. No money, no money. Oh, she's gonna be a strategic asset for him, the super smart super soldier. Yeah, so he ch ch uh, you know runs off trying to chase uh, Franco, and um, you know we also forgot to mention the story with the Spartans. So the Spartan scene's great because they tell the story about their pets. Like mm -hmm. one had a cat, one had a dog, one had the pig, and if whenever they lost. Halsey would make them shoot their own fucking animals, you know, and I've heard this in other stories. It like it's terrifying. It's 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 she's a tyrant and uh it's really fucked up. It shows you how morally corrupt she is, but it's all but in a fucked up way, it's good for humanity that you have something like this in order to be able to combat the covenant. And if it weren't for Halsey, then maybe we wouldn't but 
you don't really get that sense in this show because the coven doesn't really. They're seem not at to, war. They don't seem at war, or is not as desperate as it is. Mm. I don't. Fucking well, know. I, even just someone on the radio going like, <laughs> "Another forty ships were lost in you know Outpost in this place." Such and like such has been the destroyed. covenant are moving. It. Like none of this is happening. Yeah, I don't know. They just forgot. But they do want to tell you the halls is bad for a purpose to make her complex, and uh, they play on that drama, and that that's that works. That part works. Um, it's just the Quan stuff is not working. So anyway, she insists on con- continuing that battle, even though her fa- father fought for a lie. Hopefully, she's going to drop this whole insurrection thing, and then I guess they're going to make her go on this desert people plot line thing. I, I don't know. I figure don't out what care. her father was doing. Exactly. And take over. No, because she's got to kill Vishnu, because there's no fucking point in him being in the goddamn series if she doesn't get it. So she kills Vishnu, then the planet loses the protection from the UNSC, and then... She becomes, Everyone on the planet dies? I don't know. I'm in. That's what I'm hoping? Okay. <laughs> yeah. I'm in. So anyway, the Spartan and Keys bond over her hair, and they're talking about the rebellion. I like this part. And they discover the sacred ring together. Halo, she says. And then the musical cue, you hear it for three seconds because we don't want to get sued. Uh, and then you know she's like, we're like sisters. And I was like, all right, you know what? If, if you like Miranda, I'm starting to like Miranda a little bit. And so as long as she uh, enables Silver Team. Just by association, I like Silver Team, and anybody Silver Team is going to ally with, that's fine. But, um, yeah, and I liked getting more time with the Halsey, you know, John thing. That that stuff is working. It's just the Quan stuff, like we've said before. The Vishner stuff is even further from the Quan. It's just a completely different show, show and completely unnecessary. And, on, frankly, nothing is really happening. If you miss <laughs> this episode and... And just moved on to the next one and started from the next one. You probably would be just as fine. Oh, what's important to know that the most important thing in the entire galaxy, you can actually just see if you're hovering over the ground. Um, the the suit, it's not hidden anywhere. It is. There's an exposed pit in the <laughs> earth. Comes Alex. And it's it's again. This is and fuck- you can dig it up with a shovel. No, no, you don't have to dig it up because <laughs> no, you don't have to dig there. it. They, well, so he walks into this tunnel. He walks into the tunnel. He, it's just you fall in this little hole, and then he walks into this giant open chamber with no roof. The sun is shining down. I, I, wasn't it an installation that the dog ran into? So sh- shouldn't they already know about this? It looked like a human installation. Well, didn't originally it? there were like solar panels or something over it. Yeah, there were solar panels and then a door. And it was literally around the corner from that. So whoever built the solar panels didn't Probably already see knew. this place. But but I, Master Chief and, and Halsey walk into this room that, again, it's not in a cave. Right. It's a hole that you can just... Oh, I see what you're I'm saying. I'm just saying, it's, it's not, not a hid, the it's not it's a a hidden no, thing. That's it's like you can literally see it if you were flying right. over. The most important thing I they've been looking for. The, uh, yeah, the, the, the roof, uh, there's no roof there. You can see it, and it's it's clearly like me, like hand carved ancient forerunner shit. So no, doesn't he? F- doesn't he, he? No, he goes down. It's uh, underground, Alex. It's, watch the scene. I promise you, hundred percent. Once they get to the installation, no there sense. is no roof. Wow, it's just open. Yeah, it was just open. Yeah, it's well, just a hole in the ground. You just look down. It's like, oh, there's the thing we're looking for. We found Halo. They don't oh, know. Hurry up and find thing. Halo. Hurry up and go to Halo. This trays so far away from what we know, and it just lollygags about the whole time. Um, like I said, it's going to take seven seasons to get to Halo at this point. And, and I want a lot of shit on Halo. We could be doing all this exploration shit on fucking Halo. It. Is this writing team thinking that they are getting five seasons or a seven season arc? And if they're writing this poorly and, and it's not, you know, clicking, they could be canceled at any time. But I guess they're banking on the fact that Paramount Plus is going to give them unlimited seasons. Shit, so if that Discovery they can do what has as many seasons as Halo's going to get. But we're many, never going to get to the flood. We're never going to get to the fucking forerunners and all that shit. It's like. They could do I, I shot know. for shot of the first video game with ten million an episode and make a satisfying like first season. Right. Um, anyways, <laughs> what we're getting right now is so many different side plots that are literally not really moving the story forward in meaningful ways. No. Nothing happens. No action. <laughs> a little bit of character development. I like the Silver Team stuff. I like the Halsey Master Chief stuff. But this stuff can be put into more impactful episodes, more better paced episodes without the Quan shit. So. Final verdict. There was action in the memorial what? when they're slaughtering the people, and then the little fight scene. 
Or the sticks. How dare you call that action, Joe? <laughs> That's apparently... Uh, this is a four for me. What happened in this episode, John goes home, finds the papers, and he goes in the cave and... Yeah. That that's what happened this episode. For that, you, that's, that's what happened. Yeah, that's yeah. it. Because I don't give a shit about what, like I said yeah. before, the quantum. And you saw this and coming now, from a mile yes. away in the last episode. Exactly. It's not as satisfying when you when you like this is what's gonna happen, and then it happens, and it happens like this much, and then we get Quan, and then we yeah, get. Yeah, like, goddamn it! I don't want this shit. And now fucking someone stuck. Like I knew he was gonna get fucking screwed over. I knew that shit was gonna happen, and now they're telling me he's like, oh. Tell me about these people. I want to go see these people. It's like, oh, but no. Joe, Franco, no. Joe. Uh, no, that was Franco. What was the original name? Foreskin. You said Foreskin, Foreskin. right? Foreskin. Foreskin. That's our new kills name. Her on and his men. Yeah. I don't give a damn. And the desert people, Joe. They're, <laughs> they're mystics. Some kind of when mystic. I, when I think of Halo, I don't think it's like man. I wonder what these desert people are doing. <laughs> oh shit! That's right. The All covenant. Right, four out of ten. Um, <laughs> Go ahead. Uh, I, I didn't like this episode. I, 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 I tolerate the, the Halsey Master Chief stuff in here. I, I get that it's brewing into something, but it's not there yet. I really don't like the whole Master Chief is the fucking chosen one kind of thing. I don't like that. I like that he's just, I want him to be like Master Chief, that he's a fucking badass in his own right. But now he's like, no, it's he's special because he touched the doodad when he's a child. Yeah, that and he takes away he's from his specialness as a badass. Yeah, and so, oh, is it because he was just, because he touched something? Yeah, he touched something in a cave when he was a child. And I don't, I don't really love that thing. I really despise the Quan character. Uh, I don't think that storyline deserves to go anywhere. No. Uh, I, I do like the Silver Team thing. Honestly, I was at a really, really low score with this episode. Yeah. Uh, like, if we take away the Silver, two, silver Team thing, oh, I'm, at like, I'm like, like a two. Yeah, we're because like, it was really, really bad. Yeah. Um, especially with me not necessarily caring about the John stuff. I think it was kind of... We knew it was going to yeah, happen, and it was bloated, and then everything then else happened. Then score makes total sense. So, so I'm, I'm going to go with a three. I, this, is, this is super disappointing, and it gets worse and worse as this goes on. Yeah. This is the kind of thing that when we were wa- we watched the first few episodes, and they're like, wow, this is a terrifying direction that the show could be going into. Mm-hmm. And I was getting whiffs of that shit. Yep. And this was confirmation that there is a giant pile of shit right around the corner. Coming. And so We're and so going to dive pe- into more of it with Quan. Oh, absolutely. And when people are like, no, no, you guys are being too hard on it. It's like, look, not only have we seen more of this, but we're not being hard on the parts that resemble Halo and yeah. Halo-like stories. Not fucking... Alpha timeline, but silver timeline stories. Yeah. We don't even give a shit. We know we're not getting alpha, okay? Yeah. Or whatever they call the original timeline. It doesn't have to, and so we're not getting enough of silver. Yeah. And I don't mind that this isn't my Halo. If it was done with care and love, and and you know, like this a cohesive Halo. story, this just doesn't feel like anybody's Halo. It doesn't no. feel like anybody's good sci-fi. It doesn't Correct. feel like anyone's good political intrigue. This is this feels. More like like Game of Thrones influenced writing in such a way where there's got to be nudity, there's got to be all of these yes. weird sidelines, there's got to be you. all of this shit, I was and it was a huge point. detriment that uh, these writers cannot handle multiple uh, uh, storylines. They can't. They're it's, trying to mimic better writing that they've seen yeah. done better, and it's not working. You don't need to inject ass. sex and ass and cheeks and all this. It, it serves no purpose to the story. If it serves a purpose to the story, I get it. But if you're just trying to, I don't know, make people horny, ain't nobody getting horny. Horny on fucking Halo characters up in here. Big woman, though. Big woman? Okay, big woman. Big, 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 big woman. Big, big, big woman, woman, though. One, two, five? All right. Yeah. Well, why you don't show one, two, five and we're getting yeah. Vishner ass? Give me one, two, five, goddammit. And we're not going to get one, two, five because, no, you can't. Men, men can't look at that. So, anyways, moving on. I just, I don't understand what we're doing. We're getting too much of the Quan. We're not getting enough of the silver. Um, I like the uh, Halsey, uh, you know, Master Chief stuff a little more than Alex. I think it comes from the books and all the other lore and deconstructing the Master Chief character. I get that. But I also really agree that it does take away from the Master Chief character being such a self-built badass rather than, you know, uh, something, but maybe it'll still work out in the end. That it's the like golden uh, we'll, jab. We'll, we'll figure it out. Um, but when Silver Team is on the fucking screen, it's working. Um, and I just, I'm hoping that. Uh, but that even has cut too short. But I like this episode. I, I initially I was like, I like this episode more than the last one. Is this getting better? And then we cut to all this other stuff, the Quan, and then we have these quick cuts, and then we have all this garbage and junk put in here as filler. We're barely doing anything. And that's why it's 
uh, on the whole, it's lower. It's five out of ten from the previous one. It is getting worse, oh. especially since. Yeah, Where's the, the covenant? <laughs> it, that's not the ring. That's a booty hole, and it's coming in the next few episodes. You smell that? Yeah. No. So we and 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 I hate to say it. I want to say it's getting better, but now this informa- this this is confirmation that we know a big pile of shit is waiting for us. At least with fifty percent of the story. The Quan stuff. Yeah. So I, I don't know what to do. Um, I guess I'll just really enjoy the Silver Team and the Halsey. And can I please get a fucking... You're constantly teasing us with all these military scenes with fucking everybody tra- <laughs> training and shit and, and vehicles no, driving and, and fucking military vehicles flying and ta- taking off and landing. Can we get some war? Can we get some Covenant War? Can we get, I don't know, an inkling of what the fuck is happening in the galaxy? Or are we just going to do with the stupid fucking character drama with characters we don't give a shit like one? But we still need that chick that's coming. I don't know where she's going. Each episode that goes by now that does not have action, I'm giving it negative one right off the bat. Because the, this, the action quota needs to be happening. And no, not goddamn p- cattle prog on desert planet with Quan and Vishner's <laughs> naked ass. <laughs> So that 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 you're, you're downgrading to a four? I want to, yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right, guys. Uh, tell us your opinions. Do you think it's getting better? Do you agree with us that we got a big pile of shit coming? But maybe the other 50%, the silver stuff, is going to work. So, so there's going to be a lot more story next I, I, it, The way this is going, I feel like Halo will be shown right at the end. That's that tease. That's why they already announced season two, just to put your fears at ease. Oh, well, the show's called Halo, and we show it in the last episode. How embarrassing. Oh, well, you get season two and and maybe season two is going to be fucking great because they can take all of the feedback that we're giving it now they can ditch the Quan character that. they can get rid of all that shit and stay with the military silver team halsey if they want the admirals if they want on the fucking halo ring give me more covenant scenes give me more forerunner shit give me fucking uh flood all this good stuff that's hopefully where we're going. All right, guys, but I don't think in mm-hmm. this season. Anyways, that's going to be it for this episode. Let us know what you thought in the comments down below, and mm-hmm. thank you so much. We'll see you on the next Angry Joe Show. Bye, Bye guys. guys.